Hi, welcome. The topic of this tutorial is the menu. So the right mouse click. There's a lot of things you can do there. And let's take a look. So we've personalized our system. The way it looks now is because of our personal customizations in the scripts. It's transparent, it's arc blue kind of look and the color that is selected is the arc blue color. So how and where is this menu? Okay, let's go to here, Tunar. It's already opened in the correct menu, but how should, should we go there? Well, first go to the home. Normally you're looking at a uh, directory like so. You have to view it, show hidden files or control H from now on. And in control H you have here the dot config. So everything with the dot is hidden. Dot config has here the open box, this one. So when we started copy pasting and started running these personalization scripts, this is my personal setup. This is the one that's from Arch Labs, the personal setup of Arch Labs with also the caveats, the typos and all that. So the thing is, we're looking at this. What's in here? Some logos we can use, scripts we can use if we have a dual screen, wallpapers you can use, reuse, the auto start which is going to let you decide if you want to start variety at boot, Dropbox, in sync, anything you like, Bluetooth, etc. Skipping all those, go to the menu. That's what we're talking about today. The menu. How about the menu? And there is a backup, nice and original. Okay. And there is this here, which is the shortcuts, the keyboard shortcuts, plus all the settings of open box. Now we're going to go into detail of and the menu and the open box menu is quite special. Why do I think it's special? Because you can make it yourself. You can edit it, you can change it. If there is a typo, you can change it. If you don't want the program, delete it and so on. So let's have a look. Menu.xml, right mouse click, decide with which program you want to run it. Those three are not interesting. This is an interesting one. This is okay. And this is overkill, but in Arch Labs, they uh, point you to Genie. And I've done my best to try out Genie because I'm more a sublime text kind of guy. And I have found, luckily, I have found some nice themes. As you see, let's reload it. Yes, okay. And as you can see, the theme is not normal. Normally it's white and I kind of dislike a white look just because of uh, the bright lights for my eyes. So I'd rather have it dark with all these hours we are in front of our screen. And this is our menu. How can I tell? Well, scroll a bit down. And then you see here, Kill Nemo, Firefox, Tunar, Nemo. And when I press Windows Spacebar, you see here the same things. Firefox, Tunar, Nemo, Sublime Text, Genie, Genie. So all these elements that are in here are coming from here. So it's an XML um, man markup language. So, okay, fine. What should I know? Well, you should know that things start and end. Think about the matrix. Everything that uh, begins has an ending or something equivalent. It was, I think. So if you start with an action, you should stop an action somewhere. Ah, yeah true if you start with item you should stop with item and so on and it starts at the very top let's make an open box menu scroll down and let's stop with the open box menu so it's a complete structure of your menu with menu ids so you should have an unique ID and then unique uh, the label should not be unique that's okay but this one should be in unique and something is in there we start actually here the menu starts here in open box root menu that's the name and we start with the terminal and then a run a program let's check we start with the terminal then a run program kill Nemo kill Nemo what is kill Nemo Nemo quit 
what is running a program, GM run, what is a terminal, termite, could be GNOME terminal, could be Terminix, could be Terminator, can be anything you want. Just change the, the words here and it will execute the thing that's inside here. If you forget to put a dash here or a slash, you call it, I think, a slash, then, then it will not work anymore. So the best thing to do, let's do it together. Let's copy paste this. Control C. And the best thing to do is with your cursor to go in front here, enter, one up, and then Control V. And then you see that the zigzagging, I call it zigzagging, yeah, is correct. Action is aligned with action. Item is aligned with item and is quite readable. Now, I don't want a terminal. Well, I do want a terminal, but it's actually called the Alex terminal. So I'm giving it another name, the label. It will execute something. What will it execute? Not termite. It will execute LX terminal. No typos allowed. Control S. Saved. Then you immediately want to have to see the effect. And there is no effect. When will the menu be loaded? When you restart OpenBox. Is that logging off, logging on? No. We go to configure, OpenBox, restart. Again, the window spacebar, or super spacebar. Here is the LX terminal, just made it, click it, run it, done. So we made a terminal, extra menu for a terminal we like, an extra program. What else can we do? We can also eliminate things, so selecting and deleting, the most easy task there is select and delete but delete in a proper way so if you start with item you can't end with action you have to end with item again slash item this whole block should go that's important what else you can go through the menu and take a look what everything what every program is going to do like here kill nemo is going to quit Nemo. Firefox is going to start Firefox. Tunar is going to, uh, or is it? No, Sublime Text is going to start Sublime Text. And here's the Tunar going to start Tunar. You can also call it File Manager if you want. But I want to have a division between the two of them. And the Nemo is going to help me to work on a desktop. And Tunar is if I don't need to, to work on the satellite icons. That's my goal. So any of these things can be changed, like this here, for instance, I've added min sticky. So super, like so, we have here a way to format an uh, USB, that's one thing, or to download an ISO and put it on a USB, boot from it, install something. And min stick is the one that has been uh, around for me for years over 50 ISOs from different distributions and every time, I mean every time it worked. So I'm keeping it around on any distro. So I've added these to the menu. It only says MinStick, mm. ISO or mode eh, format. So one of these two modes, a little pop-up, doesn't do a lot of things. You say, D here is my ISO, here's my USB and done. GIMP. You can also copy paste long terminal codes inside, as you can see, make a screen a shot, a scrot, screenshot, name it year, month, day, second screenshot, width and height, GPG and move it to the screenshot folder. And the same applies here, a bit smaller, move it to the screenshots, but show me as well the picture. These were one of the caveats, I believe. This is also one of the caveats. The only thing what was wrong is that the capital M and the capital D are important. And the same here applies to a name. It should be dash QT, not open shot. So it depends. Um, you really cannot make any typos in the command. The command should be correct. 
it's Firefox with an X and not KS and stuff like that. It's it's normal. Okay. This is a special kind of menu. So here in all the things we've seen, we, we execute something here from here. It's all executing stuff. But this one is special. This is not written by me. This is not made by me. It's not changed by me. It's just a link to a menu program, pipe menu, but the name is important that you remember it. So it's Arch uh, Labs Places Pipe Menu, which is going to show us what all the places are. That's all it does. It shows where you want to go to, like so. And the other one is showing all the recent stuff. What what things did we touch? What things did we open? What things did we run? All the things that we've recent used used recently are in here. Okay. <coughs> here we open all kinds of elements, and we're going to talk about the open box key later on. But I think it's time for me now to tell you that if you're not happy, if you don't like all these codes and you say, whoa, this is nothing for me, then there is another program. There is this program that is uh, not, was, was not installed in version 3, but is now installed due to the scripts. And that's the open box GUI menu editor or the OP menu, open box menu. And this is the open box menu. Open box menu gives you a graphical user interface to show you that we have an Alex terminal. We've made this extra, as you can see, and we have here a terminal and so on. So we can change things, we can add things in here, and um, we can delete them as well, of course, minus, save it, or change it around, move it up, save it again, and it's now at number one. We can add it as well, you can add things as well. So um, the same applies with this program here. We can add new item and say, for instance, we are going to install Terminix. The label is another terminal. We're gonna execute a command, the name should be correct, Terminix. So we are making a new menu we moving it around the way we, we want it. Okay. It's now at position three. We save it. We should restart open box. How do we do that? Right mouse click, configure, open box, restart. I'm going to show you a new way. I've also made a lot of keyboard shortcuts. Here it is. And one of them is to restart it. Otherwise I have to go always to this way and that way and that way. So there is this control shift tap oh no sorry backspace control shift backspace you see everything changing and now we have right mouse click terminix and there we have our terminal as you can see all terminals have been made the same look the same arc arc theme from horse 3180 a bluish grayish kind of look so that has been, well, I think we've covered everything we need to know to now figure out how to change our menus. So there are two ways. You can either do it here in the more graphic user interface. You can also delete it again. So we're not gonna need it here. It's just for the tutorial's sake and save it again. And with the right mouse click, again, go to configure, open box, Restart or the shortcut, Control Shift Backspace, and it's gone again. It's that easy to change your menu, and it's fun as well. So enjoy, enjoy making your menu, and if there are questions, you just ask them.